What is so special about this 50 mm lens? I'm gonna give you three reasons. Three reasons why this lens is so special. First of all, this lens has an aperture of f1.2. The second reason, this is one of the sharpest lenses I ever ever had. We're gonna talk more about that later. And the third reason, it's a classic lens. It's a classic old school lens. Manual focus, manual aperture. Good quality glass. The Nikon Nikkor 50mm lens with 1.2 aperture, it's a manual focal lens, so basically it does not have any kind of autofocus system, it's only the manual focus, old school, and it does have also manual aperture, therefore if you're shooting in uh, shutter priority mode or programming mode or auto mode, this lens is not gonna work. What you have to shoot is in aperture priority mode or manual mode. So this lens aperture is between f1.2 and f16. Let's skip about this part and let me give you a straight answer. Is this lens good? Yes, it's very good. And now let me show you some images I took with this lens and with my full frame Nikon D750. But the question of the century, how good is this lens for filmmaking or videography?
don't have to be an expert to realize that every single lens has at least one flow. I'm not going to put, in this case, the manual focus and manual aperture as a flow. Instead, I'm gonna share with you three downsides of this lens. The first time you will mount this lens on your DSLR, you will see this f0 aperture value. This error can be easily fixed if you go to the main menu and non CPU lens data. You choose your lens number, doesn't matter which one, the focal length of 50mm and the maximum aperture of f1.2. After you do this, press OK to confirm. After you've done that, the lens should work as normally and no further action required. Ever. The second thing about this lens is that when you shoot at 1.2 aperture, is the fact that the images are a bit soft and there is quite some noticeable distortion towards the edges and there is a lot of vignetting as well. But honestly, tell me a lens who doesn't have these defects at this aperture of f1.2. And there's a third thing, this lens doesn't have any ED or extra low dispersion elements. What this means is that you will see quite a lot of chromatic aberration in your images. This can be easily fixed in Lightroom or Photoshop afterwards, but as an original image, if you shoot directly in JPEG, this can be a downside. Alright folks, are there any other lenses better than this one? Probably yes. Are there at 1.2 aperture any other lenses better than this? Probably not. The, f the thing with f1.2 is that you won't do this very often. You won't often shoot in f1.2 this large aperture because the images are a bit soft to be honest. There's quite a lot of distortion as I said, but there's something special about it. It's something special the fact that this softness of the image is kind of unique. It's more towards the side of fine art photography. Therefore, if you use this, if you want to buy this lens for fine art photography, I definitely recommend it. But what's the actual price of this lens? When I took it, I took it with about 700 pounds and something. That's not quite cheap, to be honest. And the fact that it doesn't have any autofocus, some some people will say like, no, I don't like this, I don't like this, I want autofocus all the way. But I'm not a person. I like I like to shoot in manual focus because I have control over the, uh, over the aperture, I have control over the focus. I can and when you shoot in uh, 1.2, the fact is that the depth of field is so shallow. It's so shallow, you basically cannot focus, cannot use any autofocus. Let's say that this lens had autofocus. Uh, with this shallow depth of field, it will be really hard for the autofo autofocus to keep track, to focus exactly on the point you want because of this shallow depth of field. But because of this, because it's manual focus, I have control over this. I love this lens, to be honest. So, do I recommend it? Definitely yes. Does it worth the price? Yes. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I do have also a full text review on my blog. The link is on the description below if you want to check it out. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you around. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.